What is up, you guys? Oh my god, I am finally back in Dallas. <laughs> Welcome back to this episode of Dallas Diaries. Alhamdulillah, you guys, I am back from my Pakistan trip and it was an absolute blast. I still have yet to edit my Hunza video and my Lahore video. I am saving those for a little bit in the near future to edit because I have a couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about. So you guys just saw me open this empty suitcase and you're like, Yusuf, why did you open an empty suitcase? That is because I am headed to Bali in two weeks. So tonight I actually have to catch a flight to New Orleans. I'm going to spend two weeks at home with my family and give them all the gifts that I bought from them from Pakistan and just spend time with them sharing stories about my family in Pakistan. But before I even pack, I want to talk to you guys about Nominal's Black Friday sale. Salam, thank you so much for being by our side during our upcoming fifth annual Black Friday sale. In this package, you'll see some classic favorites, but also some limited editions. Oh, they're launching limited edition items for our big sale on November 24th. We hope you love them as much as we do love the nominal team. So Nominal is always showing love and they're always sending me care packages. They are, were one of my first ever sponsors. They make culturally inspired jewelry and everything is honestly such high quality. I don't really collaborate with jewelry brands because I'm very specific with the ones that I wear, but Nominal is one of the very few jewelry companies that I can vouch for and tell you guys that this stuff is actually really good. This is one of my favorite pieces that they just launched as well. It is a very simple, like a letter necklace. This one says, yeah, on it. And whenever they send you stuff, it's not just like the jewelry that you get. You also get a whole bunch of these goodies. Hmm. Oh my God, wow. Oh, what? Please note that this specific item will be launching on November 28th as a surprise to customers. Tease this piece, but don't let them know just yet. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I can't show this to you guys, but there's an item coming out on November 28th. So just keep in mind for November 28th what's going to be happening with Nomino. Look at that. It has the Aya. Verily, with every hardship comes ease. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to have a link down below for Nominal. Their Black Friday sale goes live on November 24th, and there's a lot of exclusive items. So this is the first cover jacket that I absolutely love. It is from a company called Dark Sport. Just look how boxy it looks. I feel like a lot of the times with winter wear, I don't like it when my jackets are too low because I like layering oversized shirts underneath it. This one is in this beautiful burgundy color and it almost looks like it's air inflated, but I've had this for about a year and everything in this jacket is just so puffy. It keeps you so warm. Now, one of the really cool things about this jacket is that if it gets really, really cold that night or say it starts to rain, this material is like semi water resistant and it also houses a whole foldable hood inside of its collar. These Velcro straps that run along the entire collar. And this is really cool. Check that out. It says wolves. This one is from Zara. And um, as you can see, it is normal, it still gives you like a very boxy look. It has no logos, no labels. The back is plain as well, but it's just in this beautiful, almost like, almost navy material. And it reminds me of the movie Top Gun because of the blue and it has like this fur texture on the collar. Now I've started to take a particular interest in workwear and just the more rugged like cargo aesthetic and in specific I've been loving Carhartt jackets. So prior to having any of these jackets I never knew how high quality Carhartt jackets were. This thing is I feel like I can go to war with it literally. These are thrifted so they aren't brand new but as you guys can see everything is very like structured and it gives a very I don't know, it reminds me of the Batman movie, if I'm being completely honest. It's like a nice go-to everyday jacket that I can use whenever I'm running errands or whenever I'm probably just hanging out with friends and whatnot. And maybe pair it with some cargos, pair it with some boots, and it looks good. <laughs> this one is this deep blue, like, denim Carhartt jacket, and it has this nice flannel material on the inside, but it feels like wool, but it has flannel style on the inside. 
and it is definitely oversized and baggy um, but the friend that I was shopping with told me that bro you have to get it because it just suited me a lot I'm very very happy with these purchases and this is one of those jackets where I feel like it's too nice to wear outside the thing I like about thrifting is a lot of the clothing especially when it's vintage thrifting and i got this from a vintage thrift store a lot of the times when you go to thrift stores it's just like hand-me-downs but i like going to thrift stores that feel like there are time pieces where you can pick up like a jacket like this and i had a whole story with the person that owned this jacket before i became the owner of this jacket does that make sense maybe they were a pilot and this is a jacket that they brought to so many different countries and they brought to so many different adventures so I am not the biggest tech junkie, but when it comes to things that allow me to create these videos, then it's a no-brainer for me to get them. And I recently discovered a couple of new tech that I just purchased that make my editing flow a lot easier. This is Logitech's Lightspeed Collection. They both come with fully customizable buttons. On the mouse, 11 customizable buttons, along with four customizable buttons and up to four users on the keyboard. Now, the reason why I got these is because usually whenever you're editing, any of my video editors out there know how frustrating sometimes editing can become. We're editing for up to eight to 12 hours a day and having customizable buttons to do very specific functions that we do repetitively on a day-to-day -day basis, it makes it a lot easier. Sing about the smiles that 